What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from TTMAutograph.com, and I have a four package update for you. These are some 1991 Don Russ additions to my collection, and another one that I've I've shown, <laughs> or another set that I've mentioned several times, just keeps coming in. So very happy about that. Hope everybody had a great spring training. Still uh, about two weeks officially left in spring training. So if you haven't sent anything out. You might want to wait. You know, you don't want to wait until the very last minute and have them sit there a whole year. So this is your last week to really send things out as far as I'm concerned. So get this stuff out. Uh, I have had a couple things come back, but that's about it, actually. It's been a kind of a dry spring training for me this year. Not sure why. Uh, hopefully some of those will come back as the, as the season starts. So you could only hope, right? But let's go straight to the TTMs that I have today. Hope everybody had a great spring training again. So let's take a look at the first one here. Boom. All right. There you go. The first one comes from Wade Taylor. He signed one of one in 253 days via his home in Florida. This is that, um, that 91 Don Russ rookie set that Chase had sent me. You can find this address on Star Tiger. It is not available publicly that I can see either Star Tiger or or Sports Collectors probably has it as well. Now Wade Taylor only played for one year in 1991 for the Yankees where he's pictured on this card and then he was actually a scout for the Yankees as well as the Diamondbacks, the Nationals, and the Dodgers. Fun fact about Mr. Taylor is he was traded with Lee Getterman and Clay Parker to the Yankees for Henry Cotto and uh, someone else with the last name of Trout. Not the one that we're thinking of, <laughs> but another Trout. He only played 23 games with a win-loss record of 7-12. and 12. Mr. Wade Taylor. All right, next we have Dennis Lamp. He signed one of one in 331 days via his home in California. This is actually my second attempt with Mr. Lamp, so glad it came back. And his address is also on Star Tiger, as it is not publicly available on fanmail.biz. Now, Dennis played for the Cubs, the White Sox, the Blue Jays, the A's, the Red Sox, and the Pirates from 1977 to 1992. And one of the fun facts about him was he was the uh, one who actually surrendered Cal Ripken Jr.'s first Major League hit in August of 1981. I guess that makes him infamous. <laughs> That's probably a stat most people would not want, but hey, any, uh, I'll, I'd take a stat with Ripken Jr., so there you go. Again, Mr. Dennis Lamp, one of one in 331 days. Next, we have Jack Howell again for the 1991 Don Russ set. He signed one of one in 441 days via his home in Arizona. You can see the address there up on your screen because this is a fairly public address. Now, he played for the Angels, the Padres, again for the Angels, and then the Astros from 1985 to 1999 with a couple of, you know, minor league stints from 92 to 95. Now, after his career, he was actually a hitting coach for the Diamondbacks in 2010. And for a while, I don't think he is anymore. Maybe he is. He managed the Burlington Bees. I'm a little unclear on that. I'm not going to go back and reread it. So there you go. Jack Howell. And finally, we have Randy St. Clair. He signed 1-1 one and one in 207 days via his home in New York. You can find the address right there. This is that 1987 FLIR update set that I've been getting back. He played for the Expos, the Reds, the Twins, the Braves, the Blue Jays. And uh, that was it. <laughs> From 1984 to 1994. And then he was named hitting coach for the Buffalo Bisons in 2014. So there you go. Three, three uh, new, uh, what do you call it? Three new things, <laughs> additions. I'm having a hard time with words today. To the 1991 Don Russ set. Again, if you want to check out how I'm coming with that set, you can go to my website, ttmautograph.com. And up in the menu bar, click on 1991 Don Russ because that has a picture of all the set that I'm working on. I actually did go through, and uh, I think I have a link on there, and put all the cards I'm missing 
and I'm still missing over half the set, so I'm not as far along as I, I would have liked, but that's okay. That just gives me more time to uh, fill up that set, I guess. So been working on that, and I, I need to actually keep working on that, maybe buy another set from uh, Amazon or something, but we'll see how that goes, won't we? So anyway, guys, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy the content that I bring, I know 90% of people are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have a Google or Gmail account, that means you can subscribe to the channel. So I want you to double check that the subscribe button down there is clicked. And uh, if it isn't, go ahead and click that so you get all my updates when I can. And I really, really appreciate all the support. It's been an interesting couple of months. Have an announcement that I'm gonna do at some point. Uh, not today, <laughs> not today, not today, not today, but uh, that's coming up. Not going to give you any hints whatsoever. And just thank you. So like I said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And may your mail dot, you know what I mean. May your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. That goes to Stacy Schaefer, one take rudder, as he used to call me. So talk to you later, guys. Hope every day is a giant mail day. Bye-bye.